Now we are looking at the website of Icelandic Math Office, and here they publish it on map of magmatite and some data on land subsidence subsidence along the dike. Altogether, um, GPS station located near the center of the subsidence along the dike has recorded a total subsidence of 25 centimeters since the beginning of the event and the land is subsiding about three four centimeters per day along this uh, middle line this is the dike more or less left and right and that's where they have gps station here right uh, next to the highway and there they recorded 25 uh, centimeter subsidence in the beginning of the event so the land uh, is sinking along the magma intrusion Sunnuka Gigar craters us here to the north. Well, this dike continues further north and also into the sea. And if we, we have if we have an option in the sea, there will be a lot of ashes that took place. A similar event took place on the glacier 2010 when there was ash eruption, which disrupted air traffic in Europe. Af at So if we would have eruption under the sea, that would be quite dangerous to air traffic. But most of activity is um, to the north, as you see when it comes to earthquakes and um, land rise here west of uh, Blue Lagoon. This is how it looks, uh, the road in Grindavik, uh, 25 centimeters drop subsidence across the city. This is the road that I drove so many times, right next to Neto supermarket in the city center. Here is yet another image of this hole. Many houses in Grindavik got damaged as a result of uh, uh, the land rise and the earthquakes, especially closer to the magma dike line. This is uh, the view from Grindavik. This is a picture of um, a land deformation registered uh, in Grindavik area of Reykjanes Peninsula. And as you see from 3rd of uh, November to the 11th, and as you see uh, the epicenter of this deformation is uh, somewhere here um, next to Blue Lagoon and also somewhat uh, south to Grindavik where the lines are the most um, thin in between them. Uh, like Hagafatl Mountain, Silungafat. That's where we have the earthquakes, by the way, and the land rise in this area. And you see, and it's reverberating over the entire Reykjanes Peninsula, and we do have earthquakes as a result of this reverberation uh, of um, caused by the land deformation stretching all over Reykjanes, especially here next to the lake to the right. So this is how it looks. Uh, Land deformation, ongoing land deformation, uh, more or less right now.